Hi everybody! Today I'm going to read a story called The Night Before Summer Vacation. Where do you go on vacation? Is it close by? Or is it a long car trip? Or maybe you get to fly on a plane or travel by boat or train. Wherever you go, it's always fun to go on vacation. And it's fun to get ready. So the story is called The Night Before Summer Vacation. It's written by Natasha Wing, and it's illustrated by Julie Durrell. The Night Before Summer Vacation. Do you pack a lot of things? I know I always do. The Night Before Summer Vacation. "'Twas the night before leaving, and on summer vacation, my family was bursting with anticipation." We are excited. Do you get excited to travel too? It's fun. Dad made a checklist, which he checked as he went. The bug spray, the backpacks, the umbrella, the tent. Taking a tent, they must be camping. Mom grabbed the graham crackers and stuff for s'mores. Do you know what you need for s'mores? Graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallows. They must be camping. We carried our helmets, the canoe, and the oars. Remember my raft, my snorkel and bike, plus Pete's doggy bowls and Jim's new trike. Oh my gosh, you need to take so many things on your trip. It'd be fun to take a canoe. I don't have one of those. Down from the attic, our suitcases came. Mom whistled and shouted as if roughing a game. Ah, in bathing suits, in flip-flops, in sunblock and hats, in flashlight, in lounge chairs, and wiffle ball bats. To the top of the pile, to the top of the heap. Now pack away, pack away, five layers deep. We stuffed and we filled every inch of the shell like a water balloon, it started to swell. Do you have one of those car top carriers that you put on top of your car and you can put things in there for your trip? Everybody's bringing their last minute items. Dad's getting it ready at the night before. Done with our packing. We eat dinner last. Then we got out our scrapbooks of vac vacations from past. So now they're thinking about all the memories when they went on vacation before. There were photos, uh, photos of uh, us at the Museum of Toasters. Oh my gosh. And my father and I riding on fast roller coasters. And here's Jimmy on Babe and me on Paul Bunyan. And there's Mommy beside the world's largest onion. World's largest onion? I've never been there. Oh my goodness. We laughed about trips we had taken before. Our week at the beach did nothing but pour. Did that ever happen to you? Yeah. It was cold that it was so cold that we were all wore our fleeces, but we finished a puzzle with two thousand pieces. We found something else to do. At 
last it was time to climb into our beds. We, vision, we had visions of marshmallows dancing in our heads. In the morning, Dad shouted, get up, rise and shine. It's quarter to four, let's leave here on time. Quarter to four, that's early in the morning. It's still dark outside. Then a few moments later, there, there arose such a clatter. We ran to the sea, see what was the matter. When what to our wondering eyes should appear, but Dad, the camper and a long trail of gear. He chuckled and said, let's hit the road before our camper decides to explode. They have so many things in their, they're packed in their back, their car and their camper. We all squeezed in, then drove down the street. I suddenly cried out, yikes, we forgot Pete. Pete the dog, oh no. They forgot their doggy. Oh my gosh. Dad made a U-turn and Pete jumped inside. Now they're ready. Now we are ready for a 10 hour ride. Like they lost a boot on the way. Oh boy. I heard Jimmy ask as we drove out of sight. Mommy, are we there yet? She said, with luck, we'll get there tonight. I hope you get to go somewhere this summer and maybe you'll pack a lot like this family did. Have fun no matter what you do. See you soon. Bye.